Welcome back to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and we're going to simplify an expression here that involves exponents. So if you first look at this, you see that it's a fraction. But understand that a fraction is just a representation of division, right, or a division problem. So if we look at this, and I see I have 8 over 6. 8 over 6 is 8 6. That's a fraction that can be reduced, so we can reduce that. Now, how would we reduce it? We think about what the common factor is between 8 and 6. The greatest common factor between 8 and 6 is 2. So basically, we're going to divide 8 by 2. We're going to divide 6 by 2. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the 8 turns into a 4. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So the 6 turns into a 3. Now, we have this x squared and this x to the fourth. So there's a, rule, there's a property that we're going to use called the division property of exponents, which says this. When we have the same variable or term or number, right, we write that variable or term or number one time in the numerator, and then we subtract the exponent. So when we are doing division, we're going to subtract the exponents. When we multiply, we add the exponents. So let's do this. In our next step, we're going to have 4, and then we're going to have x written in the, in the numerator, right? So we don't need, so this x that was in the denominator is gone, right? We got x in the numerator. And then we're going to have 2 minus 4. It's the top exponent minus the bottom exponent. Top exponent minus the bottom exponent. So it's going to be 2 minus 4. But don't forget that this 3, this 6 turned into a 3, so we also need to have that. We still need to have that 3 in the denominator because the 6 became a 3, just as the 8 turned into a 4. And then we're going to have 2 minus 4, which is going to be negative 2. So 4x to the negative 2 power over 3. Now, right? Now this brings us to another exponent property, right? The negative exponent property. So the negative exponent property says this. Because when we have a final answer, typically we don't want to have a final answer that has a negative exponent. Whenever you have a negative exponent and you want to turn it positive, all you essentially need to do is you take that term that has the negative exponent and you're going to move it to the other part of the fraction. So if it's in the numerator, you're going to move it to the denominator. If it was in the denominator, you will move it to the numerator. But be very careful to understand that this only the x has this exponent. 4 does not have this exponent, so we're not moving the 4. The 4 is going to stay put. The 4 is going to stay in the numerator because 4 has a positive exponent, an invisible 1, that we don't need to write. So the x is going to go down to the denominator, and then our final answer is going to be 4 over 3x squared. And that's today's lesson.